Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about connecting MySQL to Visual Studio Code using an extension called MySQL Management Tools. So for that, we first we will go to extensions and we we'll search for MySQL. Now we will click on this first one, click on this install to install. And this is the detail. You can read about the detail of this tool. So now my SQL management tool is uh, successfully installed. So we will close this uh, and we will click on this Explorer. And now you can see here, down here, my SQL. So we'll click on this and we will click on this uh, plus icon. So it is, uh, we have to provide the host here which is uh, the where MySQL uh, server is installed. So we have installed it in our local machine on this computer. So we will give it local host and then press enter. Then it uh, uh, need the username. So we are using the root user of the database. So we will provide root and then it, it uh, needs the password. So we will uh, provide the password and hit enter and then it uh, takes the port number so 3306 is the default port that is used by my schedule so we'll click enter and we'll hit enter now i'll close this and now if i expand this uh, local host this connection now you can see that it is showing an error here not supported authentication uh, so we are uh, connecting to the latest version of uh, MySQL, which is version 8. So my version 8 is uh, using a new type of authentication, which is uh, not supported by this client MySQL management tool. Uh, so we have to create a user with the old authentication method. So I'll close this HTML folder. And uh, now we will go to this folder. And now we will maximize this and uh, we will go to this PC and to C and to the folder we have, where we have installed MySQL. So uh, we installed it in program file. So if I go down, so it is here MySQL and now to MySQL server 8.0 and to the bin and here I'll type in CMD and hit enter. Now we have to connect to our uh, MySQL server here. So for that, I will use MySQL day u. And uh, here I have to provide the username. So I'll provide root. And then we have to provide the password dash p and hit enter. Now here I have to provide my password. So I will provide my password. And now if I hit enter, now we are connected to MySQL. So now we will create a new user here with required privileges. So for that, I have copied the um, the queries into a text file. So I'll go to desktop and open the text file. This is the text file. So we have to execute these three queries. So I will copy the first one, control C this, and now I'll go to this and now I'll control V it here and hit enter. Now it is successfully query OK, successfully executed. So now I'll again go here and now I'll copy the second one and I will grant all the privileges to this user. Now these query will be uh, queries will be available in the description of the video. So you can copy and paste it in your CMD. Now I'll go again and now we will flush all the privileges. So I'll copy this and now I'll go here and I will control V it here and hit enter. Now we will go, we will close this, close this as well. And now a new user is created. So I'll go to this Visual Studio code. And now we will go to this local host. And now I'll right click on this and delete the connection. Now we will again, we will again uh, create a new connection for this new user. So I'll click on this and now I'll again give it local host 
and uh, and now the user is is Kevin user that we have created and the password is password and hit enter and the port is this one and now I'll hit enter now if I expand this now you can see it has uh, all the databases that are uh, inside that uh, my schedule server now I can run queries uh, on these databases so if I come here and now if I uh, right click on this uh, uh, students table and select up 1000 rows so created the query and now if I select this and now it has uh, we have these five records in this uh, table and it has uh, fetched all the records here so now um, I'll close this and now we can uh, also create a table with this uh, from here so I'll use create and table and then I'll use the table name so the table name we will give it uh, uh, db. this is the database name because we want to create it in the tsdb dot then we will give the table name so we have student table and gender table so I, will, I want to create a class table inside this and now we have to provide the column names here so I'll provide ID which is end comma uh, class this is work core and I'll put semicolon at the end and now if I execute this now it is executed so now if I right click on this and refresh this database now you can see that the classes class table is created so in this way you can run all the CRUD operations from here onto your MySQL database or MySQL server so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you